Hi, welcome back to Mixed Media Creations with me, Creative Katie, Karen Burchell. Today's video, we are back in the gel printing series, and this time we are going to be using some items that come right out of the blue bin. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, select the option to be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Video one in this series, we use shelf liner to create interest and add layers to some gel prints as well as create interesting print, prints and pools. In this one we're going to use blue bin items exclusively. So to start off I'm just applying a layer of color onto some papers and I'm going to add interest once we get out the blue bin materials but I wanted some papers in order to be put those things onto. This part of the video, because it's simply putting one or two colors and braring it on and pulling it off, I have sped up, but the rest of the video is in real time. I've tried to give several pulls using the same materials and trying to use it in different ways to give you a good idea. So if you have these materials with you, you can watch along the video and play and learn as you go. Anything that I've learned that I'm showing you right now, I've learned just by playing myself. I'm just trying to get a variety of colors here and I'm putting it on a variety of papers some copy paper, some deli paper like this one, and we'll go from there. Get ready for blue bin item number one. start we can make more basic ones if we don't so right now what we're going to do is out of our recycling bin we have some cardboard and I've ripped the backing off of it and I have different shapes and sizes this one's been used it's imperfect and that's okay so I'm just going to do On there. Now, again, since you are using, you're kind of using this as a stamp pad, I can take this off and put it on here. Now, I didn't get much there, but I did get some. It's just adding. So you can play with this. You can go one way uh, or you could go two ways. And I'm just pushing it off and some of it you're getting more or less depending on So then we're going to put it onto the background, or it could be on its own, but the yellow is pretty light, so I want to have some orange peeking through. If it works, I will be happy. If it doesn't, <laughs> lesson learned. So there we have kind of a plaid kind of look. So we have some here, so what that's going to do I'm going to try the light blue permanent on here to lift this all up. Oh, 
when you're lifting some of the greeblies, you kind of want to let it sit just a little bit longer. I find it works. So there we have the first pool, second pool on both colored papers. So now you can, you know, from coffee places, you've got your liners. This has some very nice texture on it. So again, instead of throwing it out, I'm kind of using this as a stamp pad. And there you go, with it all stamped on there. So you have, I'm really wasting nothing, which is what I love. Actually, put on this one. I'm just going to add just one more layer onto it. Now, if your paper, your print that you're putting another print onto is still damp or the paint isn't completely dry, it will affect how you get a print. Whether it's good or bad depends on you. Yum. So you can buy, and I think there were five sheets of this, and it's fine corrugated cardboard at the dollar store, and it's perfect size for my eight by 10. I think we'll just use some of this bronze copper. I'm going to put a little bit of this burnt umber. Just again, but brown is one of the jelly gel print colors that I do not have a lot of. I'm always short, and when I do my collage work, I am often missing that. You kind of have a model look by adding the metallic and 
or two tones of the same color. It's one of my favorite things to do. So, this one. And we just take the and press it. And it's nice because it's the full size. So again, that was at the dollar store. You can now if you do that and you're not getting enough coverage, you may want to try putting more paint on this. Now I may you just want to use this. Kind of as a stamp pad. And I want to do you get kind of can you see the cross hatch? There you go. So it gets some very nice type of prints. Now we can pull this print. And I'm gonna pull this on deli paper. The reason being, it's right here. I just pulled a bunch of whatever odds and ends were out and about. So that'll be nice for a tree or bark. We still have some greeblies on here and with the metallic in there. I think I'm going to go black. Do your own colors, but try this. You know, pull off that backing of that cardboard. Now, you don't have to take that off. I'm gonna let that sit, but I kind of want. This is a print you're going to see in an upcoming video. I'm just going to add some interest to it. So you see how you're just building some yumminess into that. So with all of these, it seems to work. You're, you are, you're using it as a stamp and adding pattern to existing print and then you're pulling a print. Sometimes two. There, that's lovely. Uh, still have lots of interest, lots of lots of yumminess on here, so I'm just going to put a layer of this blue. I'm thinking the copper will look very nice on it. And when you're doing a pickup print, you kind of, I think, usually let it sit. And it just kind of sucks and pulls those greeblies out. Ooh, that's working nice. And it looks like it was a good combo. 
Now all the colors I'm picking again are because I want to build up those colors in my stash. But any color. Oof, yum. either an onion bag or orange bag and different different ones products have different meshes so. okay so we're going to try the yellow it works all the same so you kind of want to Spread it out, get it right there, and then we're going to just press. You want to keep one hand on here and press so it, as much as possible, not move. If it moves, it's just going to give a different kind of effect. So if you, you know, there's places where I obviously did not press. You can press it like that till you get what you like. Okay, we're going to take that off. And I'm going to put it on this green one. Kind of like the green one as it is, but, you know. For the sake of the video, I don't want to... So there's pulling it through the, pulling it through it, pulling the paint through this thing, and then that's the print that's left. So you get the positive and, and negative. But, and you still have some interesting bits on here. So I'm going to apply color to this. Um, why not aqua, right? Oh. This is what you get with the dollar store page. <laughs> it was interesting, you know. going to be one of a kind. I mean you offset it just a little bit or pull paint off a little more or a little less. It's going to look different. So let's just add it one more layer. And definitely this one's not done. So the next thing that we can use, and again try the different bags because each one's going to look somewhat different and it's going to look different with different colors so when you're playing just use this and do different colors just use the cardboards and different colors and use those cardboards turn them do, do different things and figure out how, what kind of patterns you can create with it me and I need more metallic. <laughs> so these are the Artist Loft Metallics. This one is a beautiful color. 
cobalt metal cobalt blue so I'm just going to grab this and we have bubble wrap now bubble wrap sometimes I'm more excited about what comes the bubble wrap that comes in the packages and you get smaller so we're going to use we're going to do it with both that out of the way put this here and use that as a stamp now I didn't have a whole lot of paint on there so it's you can I can bear you can barely see it in real life you can see see the pattern but it does add some interest in there I'll have to do it again with more paint. I just love that. You know, just even as like that, done. Okay, I'm going to do some light blue. This is light blue permanent. And I'm going to put, I'm attempting to put more color because I want to get more color to when I stamp, get a bigger effect. This is also a more opaque paint. Metallics tend to be very translucent. Transparent, I can't ever remember. Pull this one back. Ah, yeah. There we go. Now you can see it. interest here. Lots left over. What I'm going to put on here, not cadmium, I'm going to put some quinacridone magenta. I know that the it might make a little bit of a purpley in here. And no, I don't need any um, <laughs> purple prints. I have a gazillion of them. But you can never have too many. And like here, these are my brayered off sheets. These are going to be beautiful for collaging. jelly printing you do, the more playing you do with different color combos and everything, the happier you're going to be. But you gotta play. And that's, that's where I learned all the, everything I know. There we go. Ooh. And that's a cleanup print. So we have a cleanup print, the first print, and then using it as a stamp. So three very different looks. 
all with something that you rescue from the recycling bin. So let's do the same with the smaller. Now since we have this out, I'm just going to use it again. just adds, you know, they're not really, they're there and they're beautiful. And even when they flatten, they they do print. So, and as you can see, I just keep keep them going. After a while, this starts to flake off, and you might have to, you know, find something. subtle addition of interest. off here, but I'm going to use yellow. You can see some of the bigger ones and you can see the littler ones. It's just an interesting combination. <laughs> 